trying something different today. I want to see what the audio looks like on this here GoPro Hero 2. I've had this thing sitting on the shelf for a good while now, but uh, I've never really got a, any good use out of it. It just kind of never seemed convenient or I never had anything worth videoing with it. I got it originally because I wanted to uh, just shoot videos of my car driving down twisty roads and stuff like that, but then I had a bunch of car trouble, switched cars a couple times, and it's mostly just sat on the shelf. I bought it back when the Hero 2 was still like the hit new camera to have before the Hero 3 and all that stuff came out, so um, not nearly as much accessory support for the Hero 2 as there was for the Hero 3 and everything thereafter, but um, I guess uh. Yeah. Playing around with it to see what the video quality and more importantly, I'm curious what the built-in microphones sound like. I want to see how good they are. So, just out running errands with the kids or whatever. And uh, my mom who's inside. But, uh, so yeah, just see what it looked like. Alrighty, so when I was at the grocery store, I got this. I'd never heard of this before, but it's called Sur Bananas. Real bananas, cocoa, and low-fat milk. And they also had, like, just a bananas in milk version that wasn't the chocolate. But my kids and me like chocolate milk, so I figured I would try that. And, uh, I don't know, I've been trying a cup of it over here. I don't know, I gotta... The initial drink, like, when you first pick it up and taste your first drink, is kind of like it tastes a little, I don't know, off-kilter. You can taste the bananas and it's kind of an unfamiliar taste, but after drinking the better portion of most of a cup, it's alright, but I kind of like it. It's growing on me. I don't know that I would go out of my way to get it again, but it's not bad. But then again, bananas and chocolate have never really been my thing either, so that could also be part of it. Alrighty, so I readjusted the field of view on this. I didn't realize you could actually do that, but I set it to a, a medium field of view and I wanted to know if it maybe wasn't quite as wide as it was, but trying out the low carb blue monster energy. It's been a very long time since I've had the blue. I don't even remember if I like it or not, but eh, we'll give it a try. See what it does. Okay, so we're over here dropping the little one off at her grandmother's house because she's going to go to the her grandmother's other house in Virginia for a week. But uh, as we're pulling in, I saw this, I guess it's a GMC Yukon parked next to us. And someone should not have been allowed to use a buffer on this thing because they screwed this thing up. Hopefully it'll show up. I don't want to be too obvious about the fact that I'm checking out their truck, but... This thing is screwed up. There are swirl marks from top to bottom. And that is why I don't buff my vehicles, because I know that I do not know how to use a buffer well enough to accomplish that correctly. I do not believe it is normally this cold in December. We're only at the beginning of December. We still have several weeks before Christmas, and it's like 20 five degrees out here. So maybe it's just because we had an abnormally warm summer and a really mild fall. But it just I don't remember it being this damn cold in December. It is frigid out here. Alrighty, so I've been using this GoPro here or two for the better part of I don't know, I guess two days to make this like vlog style thing I guess. Mostly just testing the camera, testing the features, see how it works. I don't know, I kind of like the vlog, and I don't know if it's going to be a more regular thing on this channel or not. We'll see. But, um, one thing's for sure. This thing is going to need a new battery. I do know that much. The battery, I, uh, I lent it to my father a couple weeks ago to do some video recording with it. And it's the first time the camera had really seen any significant use or charging in a while. Because as I've said earlier, I don't really... Up until just recently, the camera had sat for a number of years without being used at all and uh, when I got it back the battery was kind of swelled and the battery door wouldn't stay snapped on still works the battery doesn't like just fall out but as I've been using it the last two days or so this thing doesn't hold a charge very well at all I just charged it all the way up last night and I've shot less than maybe 10 minutes worth of video with it today 
and just between sitting overnight and the 10 minutes worth of video today this thing's telling me it's like almost dead already so I'm gonna have to get a new battery for it I don't know I don't know I like it it's got some benefits over using the cell phone to shoot all my videos but there's also some drawbacks it's a little harder and more time consuming to get the video from the camera to my phone so I can edit it whereas with the phone it's all right there um, I do feel like having the dedicated camera with me kind of forces me to shoot a little more frequently than I would with the phone because when I have just the phone I don't think about it a lot because I always have my phone with me when the camera's in my pocket I tend to think about it a little bit more consciously so I don't know I do feel like it makes me shoot a little bit better I do like being able to choose between the wide angle the narrow angle and kind of the medium angle the wide angle works well for getting a lot in the frame which is a problem with the phone is, you know, it seems to crop the frame down a lot if you're shooting in 1080p. So I have to hold the phone way out to be able to get everything into the shot. So I do kind of like that. So I don't know, but like I said, I'm going to need to get a new battery for it. I would love to upgrade to a newer GoPro, but I don't know if I can justify the cost for that right now. So, but it's telling me the battery's now dead. So I guess we're going to cut this off right here. Like I said, it's mostly just been a test to see kind of how well the Hero 2 works I'm on a daily vlogging kind of shooting basis and see how the footage comes out looking so um, I guess like and subscribe down below hit the thumbs up button um, you know you can find all my social info in the video and on my YouTube page so hit me up check me out thank you bye